or not, Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is facing a Republican challenger, a woman by the name of Tina Forte. And she has called AOC out for enabling the crime surge in the district. Now, of course, there's a crime spike all throughout the country, especially in major cities. And Republicans have chosen to run on that issue. Forte is a good example of that. Here's a portion of her campaign video where she calls out AOC directly. AOC and her radical leftist comrades promote defunding our police. AOC wants to slash police budgets for us, but hire private security for herself. Even after seeing crime surging here in New York City, AOC continues to support defunding our police. And I'll call it what it is, crazy. AOC is out of touch because she's more concerned with scoring political points with radical Marxists than she is with keeping our family safe. We need more police, not less. We need to end the mandates, end bail reform, reinstate qualified immunity, pay police what they deserve, and fire these loony district attorneys who refuse to prosecute criminals. New York City is experiencing higher crime because of liberal, soft on crime policies. When I'm elected, I'll end the reign of their terror and protect our families. Things have to change, and it starts with firing America's most radical member of Congress, and that's AOC. You know, I gotta say, I feel really good watching that because it's good to know that Carmela survived that shooting. <laughs> you know, we finally have an answer to that ending, The Sopranos. Yeah. So, look, I'm from Jersey, so I see. Listen, this is what we're gonna do, okay? All right, we can't stand this AOC anymore, so we're gonna keep it honest. Are you? Because get a load of the rest of the story. So it turns out that her family has had some issues with crime. <laughs> Um, uh, of course, but small things, small things, oh, yeah. not like serious crimes, just small things like uh, drug trafficking, uh, legal guns, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually gonna fast forward to that. Now, of course, she hangs out with criminals as well, like Enrique Tario. Here's a picture of them in 2020. And uh, just to remind you, he was arrested and charged with conspiracy for his role in the January 6th attack. But I want to fast forward to the crime that Forte's family was specifically involved in, okay? So she had mentioned that her family had a beverage distribution company, right? And she bragged about this on her official campaign website, Forte did. And it said this, AOC and her socialist allies have pushed for defunding our police and the disastrous bail reform policies which have caused crime to skyrocket in New York. Tina and her husband, Remember her husband, he's very important. Started with a soda delivery route and went on to build their own beverage distribution company. Mm. Now, they're not only creating jobs, mm. but empowering others to create their own businesses. What a hero, queen. Okay, except it turns out that that beverage distribution company was the location of a drug and gun bust by the FBI. Not 10 years ago, but just a few years ago in 2019. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love this part of the story. Okay, yeah. so. Hold on, I'm not done. Okay. Her husband was involved. Her husband, Joseph Joey Snapple Galdieri. No, he has a nickname, and it's Joey Snapple. No, I'm into hey, it though. It's hey, a great nickname. Hey, Joey Snapple's got a, a beverage distribution business. That's what Joey Snapple's doing. We okay. do sanitation on the side. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so get a load of this. So uh, she's like, oh, well, you know, my son ran into a little bit of trouble, no big deal, okay? It was just a, ma a minor marijuana bust. And, you know, his, uh, and, uh, and his father's such a good hearted man, he didn't know. But, you know, he winds up trying to help the son to stay out of trouble, and then he gets wrapped up. And she said, oh, well, you know, it could happen. People smoke weed, it's not that big a deal. The bus was for a hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of marijuana. They it's, brought it in a truck. It's a lot of okay. pot. Yeah. Okay. And so And they made little. the arrangements over the phone, not like burner phones. Like the kind of phone where you can definitely track what people are talking about, yeah. where you can hear what criminals are talking about. <laughs> like, so they're like, oh, but the dad, Joey Snapple, he's just a small part of it, right? They have tape. He's yeah. the one that hands over a giant envelope of cash. 
He's in there the whole time. He's got an unmarked, uh, they took took off the serial number or the gun. Yeah, yeah. He's got it, it's all on tape. They it's call them the dumps, big dumps. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I mean, they were running a major criminal enterprise. And, and apparently, they, they're both felons. They've been busted over and over again for assault, uh, Distribution, but not of Snapple. Where's the <laughs> law and order, Jenk? Where's the law and order? You know, AOC, she's a real problem. She likes the crime, but she doesn't do it right. Well, okay, no. we do it right. $150,000. If you want, come over to Joey Snapple. We got more product left. So uh, again, as Jenk had mentioned, I just want to be clear, uh, in that search of the location, uh, they did find a semi-automatic pistol uh, where they had uh, basically gotten rid of the serial number. Um, both are convicted felons, I want to give you the details on that. So pleading to a single count of conspiracy to distribute marijuana, the elder, uh, so her husband, Received a sentence last fall and time of time served, plus two years probation and a twenty thousand dollar forfeiture of his proceeds from the scheme. Junior, meanwhile, meaning her son, copped to a gun charge and received eighteen months in federal prison, followed by two years of supervised release. Efforts to get him sprung early this June failed, with the judge noting he persisted in criminal conduct even while on pretrial release by continuing to deal marijuana. Now, Forte has since noted on her website that we really need to do something to reform our criminal justice system. She doesn't think that people should go to prison for marijuana. This experience has given me insights to the reforms we desperately need, including decriminalization of marijuana, expungement of marijuana violations, and restoring rights for nonviolent offenders. Now, look, I agree with that take, but how she arrived at that conclusion, at that opinion is everything. Because it isn't until a right winger is personally affected by the injustices within our system that they finally decide, oh, we should really do something about this. Yeah, except this was not at all an injustice. That's he was, right. He was not yeah. a licensed dealer of marijuana at all. It was a totally illicit uh, drug transaction, including weapons. And so, and by the way, you wanna know why they do it? Look at the story here, she says, I'm so mad that AOC is letting people out of prison without serving any time. Her husband did a $150,000 drug deal, had to pay a $20,000 fine, so he kept most of the money, and he walked out on probation, so didn't serve any time. It literally happened to her husband that he walked out of jail without serving a larger sentence, he just did probation. And she's like, it's terrible for everyone else, but we should be allowed to do it. And that is the right wing mind. I know it's hard for us to adjust to it, but they genuinely believe law and order does not apply to us. It's what they really are saying is we want more black people in jail, period. Decode that and that you understand the right wing completely. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, we really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.